What's up, y'all? Welcome to Thomas Family Life. I'm Roland and Angel. And we're here with Fox and Miles, back with another video. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, oh man, so this couple, y'all, is, they, they are amazing. I mean, I mean, absolutely amazing. You know, when we first started to, to do this journey, uh, you know, traveling full time, we was looking for, honestly, we was looking for another black couple. You know, somebody <laughs> else black doing this. And we found them. We found them. And I mean, and they were amazing. We just felt like they were like we were kindred spirits just from watching the video. So it was super cool when we finally was able to connect with them. And there's the power of social media. And so we're just we're glad. We're 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 just we're humbled that they that they are on our channel today. <laughs> so so anyway, go ahead, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Not that he embarrassed you before he had it. Like, Go. Uh, <laughs> I'm at y'all. No, that's very kind. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, Fox and I'm Miles. And I don't even know what to say. I mean, I guess Adventures of Fox and Miles is our YouTube channel or something. Yeah. But we're, we're super honored to be able to talk yeah. to you guys. You know, Thanks like, for asking. Yeah, because I don't, I don't know. Like, we usually don't think about ourselves and the, the way that like, um, people find us on YouTube or anything. So it's like, what? I like, know. Whenever, whenever, <laughs> like, no one talk to us. You're right, exactly. It's like, oh, you actually have watched our videos? And you like, <laughs> <laughs> talking coherently? Like, oh, wow, uh, this is amazing. So, no, we really look appreciate it. Give yourself credit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so you know, the, the so the, here's the goal of the conversation, right? Uh, um, we just we remember how it was just getting ready to to get onto the road and and you know there's a lot of people who you know that you know that they they want to get onto the road they, they kind of just don't know if they can do it you know there's a lot of things especially culturally mm -hmm. um that 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 presents challenges when we're looking to do something different against mm -hmm. the culture so it's one thing to go against the culture uh that that we have amongst ourselves right you know and there's another thing to go you know some it's, an, it's an additional layer when you go against the culture of the culture yeah, right. yeah. you know and so and so uh uh you know when, when you meet other kindred you know other kindred nomadic spirits you know it's just it's 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 always cool to find out kind of how how did they get to that process right yeah so um so 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 we're gonna so we 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 we're gonna be interviewing Fox and Miles. So the adventures of Fox and Miles. So here we go. And so how did how did y'all get to the point that you wanted to strive for a different lifestyle? Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> so um, I graduated college in 2017 officially. It took me nine years to graduate college. This was after Miles and I had been married. And um, I had the degree and it was exciting. And then I realized that the degree didn't really give me the jobs that they promised. Um, so <laughs> yeah. So not only did I have this degree that I was struggling to find employment with, but we also had acquired at this point over $150,000 of debt between both of us, school student loan debt. Yeah. Um, and we were living in DC at the time in a condo and we were literally just like living paycheck to paycheck. And so it was just exhausting. And you know, you're paying your debts and stuff like that. And then you feel like it's not going anywhere because again, no one explains to you that the money that you pay goes towards the principal. I mean, sorry, towards the interest, thank you. Yeah. And not the principal. So they're just making money off of you. It's a very predatory thing. And I realized that in retrospect, but um, so we just knew something had to change. And so um, we were thinking about moving out of the condo and into like an apartment nearby or something yeah. and nothing around us was affordable, like yeah. nothing. Um, we thought about like, okay, if we moved out of state, where would we move? We don't know anybody. And then right. again, where would we work? <laughs> like it's the same problem. Yeah. Um, and so I started like watching YouTube and then all of a sudden videos about RVing started popping up and I'm like, Hmm. So my, my father and my mother, um, they used to RV when I was younger. And so I remember RVing, but I never thought about it as like full-time RVing. Also something to note, like when I was in high school, they would talk about things like, you know, trailer park trash. Like that's something it was looked down on, you know, it wasn't anything that was like, oh, you should never strive to like live in an RV or a trailer. Um, you should, yeah, you should like aspire to have like an apartment, a condo, a house. Yeah, like that was, that was the message. And so, um, you know, like a lot of people in PG County, like, and that's where we, that's where we live. I'm in Maryland. 
a lot of people were like, is it like house poor, house rich, house rich? Yeah, or like they had like houses, but people were struggling like yeah, every day. Yeah. So, you know, um, and I just, I just was tired of the debt and it just felt like the only way to get rid of the debt was like to get rid of our thing. So yeah. we, we actually found um, Dave Ramsey. Um, yeah. He's like, he's a popular. Oh yeah. Total money. Over. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No <Yeah. Some> day. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we were looking at like the first baby steps and the first baby step is to save a thousand dollars. We had saved a thousand dollars. The second one is to start like snowballing your debt. And so what you do is you take the debt, you know, with the lowest interest, you pay that down first. And then, I mean, sorry, the lowest um, amount, smallest, smallest yeah. amount, you pay that down first and you go on to the next one. And so we realized that we didn't have enough margin. Like there wasn't enough margin to like pay down stuff, like yeah. to, or and also to keep our savings. Oh yeah. So when I, so I first presented the idea to Miles about RVing, he was like, Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. And um and it actually took some convincing yeah. by like maybe the second time I came by and like mentioned the financial benefit of it. That's when he started to come around and be like, yeah. Okay, now we can start looking into this. Yeah. yeah. So. That idea of like, okay, maybe this can help us to be a little bit more free. Mm -hmm. That was the thing that was really the trigger for us to be able to even really start considering it. And then on top of that, like the idea of being able to travel and things like that. But the main focus was like, all right, how can we get in a better position mm -hmm. altogether? Like that was the, the core of it. And then everything else on top of that was like, I guess the icing, mm -hmm. so to speak. So like being able to travel and then also having the opportunity because we were both still are. Um, creative entrepreneurs, you know, so trying to start our own businesses and businesses and building our own thing. So it's mm -hmm. like, all right, we can both leave this nine to five situation, go on the road, be in a better situation and really focus on the things that we're passionate about. Yeah. So it basically gave us that idea to be like, this sounds pretty good. Yeah. Maybe maybe we should really consider this. And then, you know, I just couldn't I couldn't understand like the the fact that out of 52 weeks of the year, you're only given two weeks oh, to real, if that, mm -hmm. to supposedly like, you know, pack everything into your, pack everything into your, um, into your, I guess your life, yeah. <laughs> you know, and forsaking everything else for 50 weeks. Yeah. And then you're only given two days out of those seven days, which is ridiculous because there's no time to rest. Like even when you think about vacationing for two weeks, you go on vacation, you come back, you're exhausted, right? Yeah. <laughs> because you're trying so hard to have so much fun, yeah. Yeah. and um, and then you need a vacation from your vacation. Mm -hmm. And it just it didn't it didn't sit right with me that that was that's the only way to live until you're what seventy plus, yeah. maybe who that's knows fun. at this point, yeah. right? Oh yeah, <laughs> who knows now? <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Seventy plus, and then and then you're supposed to enjoy however many God how many years God graces you with and then die? Like that's, I, it just didn't sit well with me, so. Good deal, good deal, yeah. I think it was, it was very similar for us too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spot on actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are, what are three things that happened to you, uh, your mindset traveling full time? Like how did your mindset shift? Okay, ladies first. Um, so, um, definitely, so the DMV area, like, because it's near the capital, it's like the government seat of the country. Um, every day, everybody down here is like on it, you know, it's gotta go somewhere, gotta do this. It's very, uh, very political. I mean, obviously, but it's just, it's just very busy. And, um, there's always traffic. There's always noise. There's just, it's just ridiculous. And so I had never not been around that noise. You know what I mean? So when we went on the road, especially going west towards West Virginia, going west towards um, Colorado, um, even some parts of Texas, and you know, it was just so quiet yeah. and people, nobody was in a rush. It was just kind of like, I'll get there when I get there. It's not a yeah. big deal, you know, which yeah. which can be jarring because you're like, what is up? Right. Like, what what is, it's like a culture shock, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, I definitely think, and I thank God for it, the opportunity to really just slow down and realize mm -hmm. that like God is there, like in the slow moments, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, And also, uh, I guess another to add to that is like, I'm in control of nothing, oh, yeah. like <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I can plan, I can try to make things happen. Yeah. You know, I can move and shake. It's oh, not yeah. me. 
<laughs> it's not me. So, uh, I think another thing is like, even just going through the process of, process of like downsizing, yeah. really being able to identify the things that really matter to you. Yeah. Um, Cause you know, that's kind of the opposite of the consumerism that we're often showed. Mm -hmm. I mean, often like uh, pushed mm -hmm. in the overarching culture is like, you know, get this, get this, it's a sale. Oh, we definitely gotta go buy it. You know, I wanna get another one for free. Oh, you <laughs> just keep buying things. But okay. you can't do that in an RV. No. Like, no. Exactly, it stops you. No, it's just <laughs> right. <like. laughs> Your space is capped. Yes. <laughs> but wait. Yeah, yeah. And so like being able to um, have to really think about it. It's like, what, what really does mm -hmm. matter to me? And then including that is also relationships. Mm -hmm. Cause like being on the road and going away, you start to think about the people in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, those who, oh, I haven't seen my friend in a while. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. I gotta call them or mm -hmm. check on your family and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's the idea of actually going away so that you can take time to reflect. And I guess going along with what you're saying, like being in those still moments mm -hmm. really gives you time for self-reflection. So that, I would say that's definitely um, one of the, the three things, being able to really identify the priorities mm -hmm. in your life. And I guess one more to add. Can we that was, was that three? Is that, Sorry. Mm -hmm. I do what I have. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> so, so I think, um, and again, like we're Christian, so I think literally towards the end of our trip, trusting God for our daily bread was a literal thing. Um, yes, we we were in four, and it's something like you pray, and it's like, okay, God, give us this day our daily bread, and it's yeah. like, what does that really mean? Um, you know, and, and I think you know we come to learn that like, give us enough for today. Like we're only supposed to be focused on today, and so we had like a a, a loaf and fish moment when we were in um, Fort Myers, Fort Myers. Yeah. and we were staying at a, um, a rest stop. And so, you know, we had $20 in our bank account and we weren't gonna get paid until like a week and a half later or something. Yeah. And so it was like, God, what, what you finna do? Because where, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. what are we gonna do? <laughs> and, and, you know, and again, it, it was a, it was another moment of God being like, you don't have this. Like, cause you know, we're trying to make stuff happen. We're trying to, you know, build yeah. businesses and all and nothing was working. Yeah. And so God literally made that $20 stretch from that day on to two, I don't, I don't know how it happened. I'm not sure. We even got ice cream, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But, yeah. 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 I, I mean, I'll tell you, I mean, <laughs> you start living by faith, like for real. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you start living by faith for real. <laughs> yeah. You know, you start seeing God from a whole nother place. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, when you get rid of all of the noise of about of, of, of culture, just like you said, when you minimize it, when when, mm -hmm. you, when you realize that what's important, you you hold on to that, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you really, I think you really begin to see what God is really getting at, yeah, you know, it, it, you know, in in, in in everything, you know, mm -hmm. so oh, we yeah 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 we, we <laughs> fish and low, well, I mean. Fish and loaves, I like that. That's fish and loaves. We're gonna use that. <laughs> uh, let, let's see. Okay, so, so, and I guess you know, kind of building on that, on that note, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you, you know, do you cherish what? The, oh, did I write? <laughs> Beats like that. I do that all the time. That makes sense. I was thinking. I'm, I'm, okay, well, let me just sense. ask the question. Okay. <laughs> do you cherish the same things you did before you left on the road? Not you. I think yes and no. Um, my relationships have always been important to me. My community, my friends, my family have always been important to me. When we were on the road, I definitely got homesick because I just, those people are my home. You know, they're my family. Yeah. And so um, even though we had our home with us, just that feeling of connection, like with people who really know you, who like have gone through the trenches with you, who are praying for you even from a distance, who call you like off the random, like, hey, just stop checking in with you. Yeah. Um, my uncle called us like, and it's a bad joke, but um, he was like, <laughs> he was like, I'm just gonna make sure that you're not, uh, you're not in a tree somewhere, which is like, and even though he was joking, like, you know, he's kidding, like, he's serious. Yeah. It was a, yeah. It was serious. It's his way of showing concern and, like, like joking is what he does. Yeah. And so, oh, man. <laughs> it's crazy. So, yeah. So he, so he talks like you know he he jokes all the time. But that's how he shows love and affections yeah. to his to his nieces and nephews and his children and stuff like that. And 
you know, if I was in Maryland, like, yeah, he would call me, but I don't think we would have had that opportunity for him to really like, you know, check, check in, in on me yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, cause they were, cause Philly's only three hours away from here or two and a half. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So stuff like that really, um, showed me and made me grateful for the community that we do have. Um, as far as like things, so I'm a pack rat and yeah. I'm an emotional hoarder. And so <laughs> it, like it, <laughs> it really made me realize, like, I think I always knew, but I, I was afraid to let it go. Cause I was like, well, no, I have to hold on to this thing to remember this person. And it's like, well, no, you can actually just remember the person. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need these things to remember this moment. Yeah. I get it. She's the same. It's that for sure. I understand. Oh, family right here. You know, pack rat. You just never know if you need something. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> you guys. You guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're hitting a nerve today. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <Definitely laughs> no, we need it later. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Oh my goodness. Them USB cords, man. You know what I mean? Uh, right. right. <laughs> have enough, right? You never have enough. You gotta, you gotta have exactly. enough. Never have enough. Yeah. <laughs> you need one every place that you go, so you don't lose. Yeah. I mean, it's just every <laughs> place. That's true. That's true. I sometimes think think like that. Yeah. Stuff, but yeah. Trying to. Kind of, you know, guys, he does yeah. not care if he don't have room to walk on his side of the bed. Just drive in the bed. <laughs> what else? It's me. I <laughs> <laughs> so I know where it's at. Where is that? Yes. Like, Why are you getting it's organized chaos. What's over there? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Organized chaos is a thing. Mm. It's a real like, thing. I know where it is. I do. <laughs> <laughs> if I'll ever get it. Right. I, I can respect it. <laughs> I can respect it. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. All right. Oh. What are you going to say, baby? Oh. Um, oh, no. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. I, um, I thought I had an answer. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I was going to. Okay. So I was going to give a, a little story about Fox. About the emotional attachment. If oh, yeah. It's okay. No, it's fine. It's, I don't care. So when we were, because, are you like near a mic or something? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not. Oh. It's not picking you up. Oh, oh just can you hear us? There you go. Yeah, oh, so okay. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Sorry. It's picking up y'all. So it's fine. okay. Um, so this was, I think, we were married when this happened. Maybe not. What? Your boobs. Oh yes. Aww. Okay. So <laughs> Mom had this, this this pair of black boots that she I loved. loved dearly. <laughs> um. But they had a hole in it. And so for me, I'm very like pragmatic. And I'm like, these ain't no good. Like you can't wear that. <laughs> like every time it rains, your feet are wet. You can't, but she was holding on to them so tightly. I was like, hey, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. <laughs> and I think even, you know, even with the RV stuff, like it was really hard for us to downsize. Cause like making that transition was a lot easier for me. Cause I had already moved a couple of times and I had already moved from like house to a smaller place to an even smaller place. So I didn't have as much, but for Fox, it was like, oh no. I I've been here since, two, since yeah. what, 1994. Right, I gotta take Oh so. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing here. Yeah, so, the, you wanna, oh. the mic, there you go, yeah. I mean, okay, it, sorry. It, it's just, your face has to point to the mic, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. No, you're um, good. Yeah, so that was an interesting thing just being able to make that transition of like letting go of stuff yeah. and things like that but i think also cherishing um the things that are sometimes like intangible yeah so not only like relationships and things like that but even just like i would say purpose and like passion and stuff like that like because when we are in a typical i guess nine to five or culture or whatever we are so influenced by what other people tell us we need to do. Oh, yeah. So like, you need to achieve this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this or whatever. But when you are able to stop and hear from God, you can find out, oh, actually, no, this is really what you should be doing with your yeah. with your time, with your gifts and your passions and stuff. Not like, what's the fastest way I can make money mm -hmm. or the fastest way that I can find fame or recognition or anything like that. But really, what are you really here for? Mm -hmm. You know, and I think when you can pull away from all of those ideologies and 
systemic thoughts and stuff like that, you can really think about it and find out, okay, this is really what I'm here for. My journey is way more than the nice house that I have or the car that I drive or anything like that. I think that's definitely something that helped. we helped learn how to cherish mm-hmm. yeah. while we were um, on the road. Man, I mean, I mean that that is good because I, I mean I, I know for sure it was definitely like you know like that with us when we, there was a certain point you know that that it was like man we really should live on purpose mm-hmm. like 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 you know with the gifts and talents that God has give us has given us we should actually live out that mm-hmm. and, and then what you do becomes way more meaningful than 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 just going to work yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean I mean you know. It's, it, it, even though, even like, like I have a job now, right? But but you know the job I have now is purely based on the on a passion of mine. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. a, it's completely so. different than what it was when I when I was when in the regular corporate America doing right. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. Even though I was good at it, I just yeah. you know it wasn't it wasn't this. You mm-hmm. know, I, I mean, yeah. I found that you know we start finding that artistic expression. You know, with the photography and painting and making videos and all that stuff it, it just felt more, way more meaningful you know than it than it was prior you know prior yeah. to getting the road, so. mm-hmm. That's awesome. we hope for y'all you know this, this for the viewers hope for y'all i mean this hope hopefully that 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 gleans something to you like like oh, yeah, yeah. Get, you know getting on the road i mean it may pull out some passions that you didn't know was there mm-hmm. yeah 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 so okay. Let's see. So, yeah, you, you do last. Um, what advice will you give someone trying to move into um, a counterculture lifestyle? I would say know yourself. Like, I feel like in this, what's become trendy is like, oh, find yourself, and mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, and and it's this idea that you have to keep putting stuff on to find yourself, or like, take this course, or you know, whatever, and. Honestly, finding yourself is just really like, and somebody else said it, is like um, unveiling yourself. Like it's taking things off of you. And so we don't realize how much, so even if you're not, even if you're not talking about RVing, like you don't realize how much you put on from society that you think is your identity. That's not, that's not true. Like you, like um, you, like how we talked about before, like you have to, you know, go to college, get a good government job and then that's it. Or you know, or you have to, you have to buy a house, or if you don't buy a house, you're not, you're not really living the American dream. And it's like, yeah. well, one, what is the American dream? What does that have to do with you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and what do you really want? What, yeah. like some people, some people don't want to work a nine to five and that's okay. And some people do, and yeah. that's perfectly fine. Like yeah. if that's like, really be honest with yourself. Don't worry about what other people are gonna say. Like, I know it's hard because I mean, that's how we navigate life is like, yeah. what is the standard? Yeah. Someone tell us what the standard is, right? Um, talked about like from fifth, from five years old on for the rest of your life, it's been indoctrinated in you. These are the rules, this is what you do. Like, and so when you, when you come out of say college or whatever, even working a job and you decide, actually this is not working for me. Right. It's gonna take a minute, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna take a, a lot of work because from a child you've been told this is the path to success. Yeah. So the first step is like defining what success is for you. Yeah. Is it living in an RV? Is it just traveling the world? Is it staying at home and raising your children? Cause that's a that's an amazing thing to do. Like yeah. if you're if you're a housewife, that is beautiful. That's a yeah. lot of work. You know what I mean? Like so even even I'm careful with how we portray ourselves. Cause I don't want people to get caught up in like, oh, I want to live, like, it, it makes me nervous when people say like, I want to live the life you're living. Yeah, like, because you'll you'll mess yourself up trying yeah. to aspire to be somebody else. Yeah. Like, no, what works for you? And also be okay with pivoting and changing your mind. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do the same thing yeah. for forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who said that? Who made these stupid rules? And yeah. why do we have to follow them? A thousand percent so, so, agreement. <laughs> yeah. You, you're saying you don't have to stay at a company for 60 years because no. you're comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Unless you love it. And that's Unless your you love it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That is okay. And, and I don't mean to shame like anybody. Again, if you want to work a nine to five and you're comfortable with, that's the thing. Like people, people think that success is living these big lives. Like mm-hmm. if you're a good father, if you're a good mother, if you're a good child, like that is to your children, 
like Europe, like that is amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I grew up, my dad was not around. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I, I look at other fathers who are just going to work, coming home and taking care of their kids and their wife. Yeah. And that's something I envy. Like to me, that would be, that is success. Like you raising a good family and having a good home and a roof for people, that is success and that's okay. Um, but again, if you want to live, if you don't want to have kids, don't have kids. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever, if you don't want to get married, if you're called to singleness, that's okay too. Like it's perfectly fine. But really, it's just really just taking all this crap off of ourselves and this pressure, unnecessary pressure. Like, and I think it all starts with knowing your worth and you're worthy because you were born. Yeah. You're not worthy because of whatever accolades you hold or degrees or anything. You're worthy because you're here. Yeah. And so when you start there, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know? Wow. So I just I get very passionate. Right right there. I know. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay. I hear a book in there. Okay. Good Get the bag, girl. Of uh, course. You know, you yeah. got digital courses now. Hey, <laughs> them digital courses. <laughs> and I, and I, say, I say that because it's something I'm learning. Because I put a lot of, like, like, I said it took me nine years to get my degree and I felt like a failure like I was you know people are just coming in and out getting out early in three years and I'm like am I am I dumb like am I you know what I'm saying like is something wrong with me and you know during that time I also struggled with depression so it was like that was take that was taking everything out of me Jeez. and so um and so I was like Alicia you did it like you did it you 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 persevered like and even if I didn't get my degree that's okay too mm -hmm. like you showing up every day and yes. and I and I feel like depression has humbled me because you know because and, and mental illness is a real thing you can't do everything everybody else does and yeah. so when you when you're depressed and you get out of bed in the morning that like I've had times when like Miles has had to get me out of bed mm -hmm. like it's been so bad and so I'm starting to have a lot more grace with myself that if I show up today if I brush my teeth if I take a shower that is a win yeah that's a win you know what I'm saying and when you take stuff moment by moment like that and not creating these systems that like that put yourself in bondage you know what i'm saying these expectations that other people put on you that you don't have to because god's not you know what i'm saying you begin to like you begin to be more free and lighter wow. so that's good stuff that, that's gonna free somebody right there yay i hope so <laughs> for real I hope, for real yeah yeah that's real yeah i mean uh only thing i would I don't even know if it's adding, but like I, <laughs> I you said a lot of good stuff. I definitely agree with you in regards to like if somebody's trying to jump into a countercultural or different kind of lifestyle or whatever. Um, definitely number one, realize that you can pivot. Mm -hmm. Like just because you're trying something new doesn't mean now you're bound to that yeah. for the rest of your life. Come on, that's good. So like good. if you need to, you can go out like, oh, that was cool. I'm gonna go and do something else. Yeah. Like, like yeah. exactly. Man, it's so true. Like, like yeah. you know, it's it's cool because I mean, you you see that with a lot of successful business owners, right? Mm -hmm. They, I mean, they generally by the time they hit that success point, they on business five. Yep. Yeah. 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 and down. You know, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or even like when you like like you look at like Tyler Perry, right? When he mm -hmm. went, you know, he was. I think he was what? That was like his eighth time doing Madeir, but mm. before he finally, this eighth year doing Madeir before it finally mm. took off. Like, come on. Yeah. You, yeah. you toiling. At least yeah. <laughs> for seven years. Yeah. That's a long time. And, 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 and I guess in that case, you could say, you know, per, you know, he, perse he persevered through it. But then, yeah. but I guess probably the better example would be like those business, you know, those business owners, you know, they try one business, fail, go do another. Yeah. Try another business, yeah. fail, do another. But, you know, I guess maybe not looking at it as fail, but looking at exactly like you said, a pivot, right? You, yeah, you just exactly. Have, I learned pivot. And I think that's learned the, pivot. this is probably like the most important thing we've probably said this whole video, yeah. because I think people don't give themselves permission to change. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. yeah. Say, okay, this isn't working out for me. Time yeah. To change, yeah. You know, like, time yeah. to something different. Uh, maybe try this, maybe try that. And I think that saying that is freeing for yeah. probably mm -hmm. a lot of people, because I think mm -hmm. we're all, Hold this expectation that's kind of false that kind of binds us and then it yep. does make us go into things of feeling worth uh, worthless yep. and not good yep. enough and as if we're um we're failures yep. you know yeah. it's not necessarily yeah. true it's just uh yeah. you know it's just permission to pivot <laughs> yeah and, and that's and that's the thing like even this idea of like failure like people like 
when you go to the gym and you work out, you're like some people work out to bot to your body fails, right? Because like you're trying to build muscle. Like if it doesn't fail, then you're not gonna build anything. And so and so to me it's like <laughs> and so looking at looking at failure, I've had to change. Like <laughs> no. I've had to change. <laughs> you silly. Wow. I've had to change like how I looked at failure because I don't wanna look dumb. Who wants to look dumb? Right. You know what I'm saying? Who wants people to make fun of them? Who wants people like, I told you so you yeah. shouldn't da, 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 da. But yeah. no, like I'm looking at each failure as like an opportunity one to learn but also to to like rack up i'm going i'm trying to rack up failures i'm trying to rack you know to, to like work out my muscles so that i can go out and go fail some more and fail bigger you see what i'm saying like yeah if, if i'm too afraid to like go out here and like say if i want to be a singer that's what i want to do i want to be a singer and so if i'm afraid of you know people with my voice cracking or so okay let's have a bad show that's the worst that can happen. So once the worst thing that can happen happens, yeah. I love okay. have survived it. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. yeah. Just move on, you know? Yeah. And just one pin in that. I, mm -hmm. I think I need you to say that to my daughter. She's 13 and yeah. <laughs> the voice crack thing really gets to her, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's 13, so. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm not hitting my ranges. Oh, <laughs> and, and and it cracked she every takes now it and then. Seriously, okay. <laughs> I didn't even know the range was. My brother was just in the choir. I was a tenor. You know, what I'm I was in group three in the back. Oh, uh, you know, that's all I do. Yeah, you know, I was a soprano. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're important. Supports are important. Kiki singer. <laughs> yeah, you, you sing it, you know. <laughs> oh man! I mean that. I mean, wow! That is, that is, that that is that is that is meat right there, right? I mean, I said when we, when when you're literally when you're going against what 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 culture is saying we should do, the the mentality there that with that that you just learned. Stepping out into RVN, mm -hmm. just stepping out into RVN and just doing it full time. I mean, I, I, it has taught us way more than learning how to deal with a flat tire or or, or, or change yeah. or change a uh, you know empty your your, your gray and, and black tank, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and miss the thing. You know, what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know it, it's just it, it, there's so much more lessons that, can, that that that's coming out of of RVing full time to just that you 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 can't you know it's it's almost invaluable. You know, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, I agree. I think if you can accomplish the mission of just getting into an RV and, and, and traveling, even for a month, even it's for just, a weekend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you you accomplish you're accomplishing something that most people never do. Mm -hmm. Most yeah. people most people will will say they want to do something mm -hmm. and ne plan for it and yep. never do it. Never. Yeah. Yet. Put yeah. the first action in place to yeah. do yeah. that. So. Yeah. yeah, you know it's, it's amazing. I see the comments, right? Oh, I've been planning this for ten years. What? Yeah. Don't, don't shame them, though. And I mean, it's, 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 yeah. I'm, just, I'm not trying to shame yeah. y'all. I ain't no, no. Yeah. But, but I'm saying, you know, you set a goal, just go for it and do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like if you just if you just go for it, and, you know, the rest of the stuff works out. But then even if yeah. it even if it doesn't fully work out, mm -hmm. you you gave it an honest effort try yeah. and, and you're gonna true. learn something from it. I think yeah. Roland probably and probably what he's saying with so much passion is because that's kind of how he really lives, you know, like mm -hmm. I didn't train for eight, ten years <laughs> and then decided to go try out for the 2020 Olympics. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like out of nowhere. And then <laughs> and then from that experience we decided to RV full time. You know, so yeah. you know, like, we're just jumpers. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another thing too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, I love that. Yeah. So. But you know, I mean, it takes you willing to go against the grain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you can if you can get that if you can if you can lock that in your mind that it's okay to go against the grain. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Do a lot of things that that yep. you, know, you know amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I think there are so many times that that when we was out there traveling, you know, people, people would say, "Hey, you know, your your kids are doing something that most people you know dream about doing. Most people yeah. never go to more than five, more than two national parks." And we're like, shoots, man, we're like on 20. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no. but, but, you know, and it's like, but we, 
you know, I mean, we just went for it, even though we ain't seen all of them. Like, yeah, we have. Yeah. We were. It was on our bucket list to see them all. Maybe yeah. we will, you know, but yeah. we haven't seen them all just yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, yeah. But anyways, wow. Well, I mean, this this was this was this was this was just gold. So this was really good. I tell you, we appreciate uh, you all coming on Thomas Family Life with us and just spend spend a little time <laughs> with everyone and and just sharing your heart. You know, uh, I'm for sure no. Um, Fox has a couple of books or some digital <laughs> yeah. up in there. You know, you know. I mean, that was, that was some serious stuff, right? Girl, there. dropping so, wisdom. I'm okay. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you know, like, that's you know? So, wow, y'all. I mean, I mean, y'all, y'all doing it. It's, yeah. it's so cool. And, and again, just you know, you guys were. I was the first ones that really, really encouraged us, even though you didn't. Aww. Uh, yeah, you know, y'all, 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 I know. Y'all. Roland found you guys on the internet first. He's like, "Have you seen this couple?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Calm down, I'm checking them out." <laughs> that is, has a good effect. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, you guys. I mean, we're essentially, you know, a piece of the uh, of, of your encouragement. Hmm. I mean, you guys setting that example. You guys just going out and and striving for something different wow. encouraged us to do the same. It gave, gave us the hope that we could do it. So yeah. we're, we're we're just we're seriously grateful. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> when I tell you we didn't start this channel with any, oh. it was to keep up with friends and family, like to document our journey. Yeah. And we're saying whatever happens, happens, and to know like. That it's that we're capable of encouraging yeah. somebody is so weird. It's yeah. so, <laughs> but I'm grateful. I'm yeah. grateful because, like, even even what we say is like, even if you don't choose to RV, which is fine, yeah. still live the life that you're meant to live. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> that, for having yeah. Me. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming on. And again, y'all. Hey, uh, keep on watching because we got more <laughs> stuff coming. Peace, y'all. Peace.